Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Marina has escaped. Teufel, the mighty god of the sea, must tell me how I can avenge her terrible betrayal. Oh, great Teufel, show your face to Titan, leader of the underwater city of Titanica. All powerful Teufel, Vengeance must be mine. Even now, Marina is with the Akasid Terranians, Troy, Tempest, and his friends. You show me a blue coral flower, Great Teufel. But how can that help me? I don't see how. But wait, that exotic perfume, I have never known it before. It is intoxicating. The temperature, it is getting so hot, I, I cannot breathe. I am choking. The, the flower. It is consuming the atmosphere. It must be. I must destroy it. Teufel, the mighty sea god has shown me the way. The plant is the answer. I will use the plant. <laughs> Say, Marina's crying. Atlantis, she's really crying. What are we going to do? Well, what can we do, Troy? She can't speak to tell us why she's upset. Maybe she doesn't like Marineville. Or dry land, come to that. What does that mean, Marina? You don't like it here? Then you do. Say, maybe she's homesick. How about it, Marina? Are you thinking about home? But where is her home? Sure, we know it's on the bottom of the ocean, but exactly where? Hey, maybe she could take us there, in Stingray. All righty, let's see what we can do. Never could refuse a lady. And what, Troy Tempest, will HQ say when I tell him that a world aquanaut security ship has gone on a pleasure cruise? But, Commander Shore, it'll be a chance to meet Marina's people. We'll be exploring a new underwater city. Okay, Captain, the explanation will take care of HQ. Let's hope it satisfies Atlanta. Somehow, I have my doubts. Well, 
Automatic Boson operating, Skipper. Thanks, Phones. Now, Marina, we are here. Is your home to the south of us? Is it to the north, then? Great, you've got the idea. Let's keep at it. Surface agent X20 to Titan. X20 to Titan, come in, please. Titan to X20. What have you to report? The World Aquanaut Security Patrol vessel Stingray has been launched and is passing the island. Have you discovered its destination, X20? I have. By means of the interceptor monitor. I have learned that Stingray is bound for Pacifica in the domain of the traitorous Marina, and she herself is aboard. Perfect. It could not be better. Come at once to Titanica. I have a mission for you, a mission of the greatest importance. How about here, Marina? Is your home anywhere around there? Right. What are we waiting for? Agent X20, you will go to Pacifica, the underwater city of Marina's father, Aphony, and present him with this plant. It is not like the mighty Titan to send flowers to an enemy. But this is a special flower. When the cover is removed, its exotic perfume will consume the air, and Aphony and his guests from Stingray will die as they deserve. No one defies the great Titan and the mighty fish god Teufel. You will say you are from the underwater city of Kazuma and have news of his daughter. But what about Stingray? It's already approaching the area. They might reach there before me. I will arrange for an escort vessel to intercept Stingray and delay it. If the Terranians are destroyed, so much the better. <laughs> Zero to escort vessel. It must be Stingray. Troy, I'm getting a reading on the hydrophones. Can you identify it? Yeah, it sounds like one of those mechanical fish from Titanica, and there's another smaller craft with it. Escort ship. Agent X-20. Stingray is approaching at speed. You must intercept Stingray at all costs. I will proceed to Aphony's domain. <laughs> They're coming in for another attack.
try to repel attack. Aquasting 2, Green 05. One, two, eh, phones? I want this craft checked inside out before we leave our present position. Right, Skiffo. Don't worry, Marina. We'll get you to your father as quick as we can. Haffany, the peaceful one. Cultural lord of the oceans, great leader of the famed city of Pacifica. I know you cannot speak, but you understand my words. I come in peace to give you news of your daughter. As is the custom in my part of the underwater world, I bring you a rare and fragrant flower. It is a symbol of peace and an omen of good fortune. I have heard that you have suffered much since the evil titan seized your daughter and took her as a slave. But Marina has made her escape and is even now on her way back to you. I will not intrude on this happy reunion. My greetings and kind wishes, Aphany. Agent X-20 reporting to Titan. All is well. Your instructions have been carried out. Marina and the Stingray crew are doomed. That was a deep ocean trench you had, Troy. Right. I guess this is it. Skipper, I can see some lights for here. Yeah, Fons. But say, it's a building. An underwater skyscraper. Jumping catfish, what a place! It's fantastic! Oh, the water's being pumped out. Won't be long now, Marina, before we see your folks. What a fantastic room. It looks like some kind of palace, state room, and hall of culture all rolled up in one. I guess the old boy has her father phones. He sure is an impressive looking guy. Yeah, Troy, but what's with all this arm waving? I guess they're talking to each other. Maybe by thought transference. I've got a feeling this is going to be quite a session. This sure is a fantastic place, Phones. And this meal, it's delicious. Guess this place is a cultural underwater city. Just look at those statues and the books. Yeah. And hey, look at that exotic plant. Yeah. It's beautiful. He's saying something about the plant. <laughs> Perfumes out of this world. What do you think, Troy? Does Marina come back with us, or will she stay here with her father? I don't know, Phones. I kind of hope she might decide to become a permanent member of our crew. Well, we'll soon know. 
we wish to thank you on behalf of the World Aquanaut Security Patrol for the hospitality and friendship extended to us. Naturally, Marina, I would like you to come back with us and maybe help in the fight against the enemies of your people. But if you prefer to stay, there are no hard feelings. Do you understand? Come on, Troy. If she wants to come back with us, why, she'll follow. It's time we got back. Come on, Skipper. Shall I radio Marineville that we're on our way back to base? Yeah, I guess so. Say, phones, do you hear something? Yeah. Sounds like something banging on the hull. It is, Skipper. Uh, look. It's Marina. I knew it. Phones, open the starboard airlock. Yes, sir, Captain Troy. next thing we heard was Marina tapping on Stingray's cabin. But what about her father? Surely he could be in danger from Titan. How could she desert him? Maybe she figures she can best fight her father's enemy with us. Yeah, and maybe she's still working for Titan and come back to spy on us. Are you giving this to me, Marina? Well, isn't that a sweet thing to do? How about that, Atlanta? Well, I must admit it's a nice gesture. Thanks, Marina. Figure this. Still no reply. Atlanta! was consumed by that plant. There's no doubt about it. Well, it looks that way. How are you doing now, Atlanta? Oh, I'll be okay, Troy, thanks to you. But Marina must hate me pretty bad to do this to me. Well, you sure could have fooled me. She looks so sweet. Now, wait a minute. We can't be certain Marina knew anything about that flower. Maybe not, but the evidence is pretty conclusive. I know you think I'm crazy, but I believe Marina's innocent. Fine words, Captain, but you'll have to prove it. I'll prove it even if I have to risk her life to prove it. You see, I believe in Marina.
Katrina knows the deadly effect of that plant, she'll get out of there fast. Then we'll know for sure she's a spy. She's tiring. But she obviously doesn't know why. She may be bluffing. Give her a few more minutes. We gotta be certain. Oh, stop it, stop it. I know what she's going through. She must be innocent. She, she must. Not yet, Atlanta. There's still time for her to smash the plant, if she's guilty. She's collapsed. Okay, Troy, get rid of that plant. Too late, Commander. He's already gone. Are you okay, Marina? Oh, gee, I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Marina. Please forgive me. I guess we all owe you an apology, Marina. Yeah, and we'll sure know what to expect if we see one of those flowers again. Now, let's have some dinner. You're all invited, and Marina is guest of honor. There's just one thing that still worries me about Marina. What's that, Troy? Her piano playing. It's terrible. Will you teach her to play properly, Atlanta? I sure will, Troy. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> Close to my heart 